What is going on YouTube? Expresso Shaco here and today I am testing out some things that were on my bucket list including a new computer so uh, my setup might be a little bit different compared to usual but anyways here's the team we have Zation, Thunderous, Whimsicott, Colossal, Primarina, and Ndidi. Now I've used Zation before, I've used Whimsicott before, I've used Ndidi, I've used Ndidi a lot but the main things I want to try out here are the Defiant Thunderous with an Assault Vest and Colossal. I've gone up against multiple Colossals, but I've never actually tried it, so here we go. <clears throat> so the main idea here is Zation's pretty standard. Behemoth Blade, Psychic Fangs, Sacred Sword. I like the idea of Psychic Fangs. If I run into something like Lapras or Grimmsnarl, I can break their screens with Psychic Fangs. Behemoth Blade just nukes almost everything sacred sword is great coverage and psychic fangs just kind of rounds that out we have thunderous with wild charge fly lash out and superpower we have uh moon blast we have moon blast helping hand tailwind and protect on whimsicott we have protect meteor beam heat wave and solar beam off colossal this is also the colossal that was uh distributed um through mystery gift a while ago I think it's Wolflix, Colossal actually, but I don't 100% remember. Um, we've got Pretty Marina with Moonblast, Hyper Voice. We have Throat Spray to pair with Hyper Voice, and we also have Aqua Jet to self proc Colossal's weakness policy. And then finally, we have Ndidi to pull things away. We have Expanding Force, Helping Hand, Protect, Follow Me, pretty standard stuff. So let's try this out. Let's see how this uh, holds up, and let's begin the campaign to entertain. Okay, we have a similar enough concept with uh, an opposing Thunderous and Zation. My opponent has Torn, Entei, Diggersby, that's cool, and Dragovish. So, Colossal does not look bad here, and in fact, it looks great here. Um, I got Solar Beam for Diggersby, I've got a Vocalift for Entei, Torn, and Thunderous, uh, I got Heatwave for Zation. The only thing that I'm kind of scared of is Dracovish, and even then, I think I can safely lead Cole in Primarina. Um, I think we can bring Zation in the back, and I think, I think Whimsicott can come in the back as well. Um... This might be jumping the gun a little bit, but yeah, I think this isn't a bad combination. Zation would definitely appreciate speed from Whimsicott. Um, Primarina can keep Dragovish in line with a Moonblast. And plus, if I get that, uh, if I get Vocalift off into Thunderous, that's great. Uh, Thunderous would definitely not appreciate that. So, let's see how this goes. Yep, see how this goes. I'm uh, I'm excited. I timed out three different times trying to find an opponent, so <laughs> here we are. So, ooh, Diggersby and Entei, okay. I love the look of that shiny Diggersby too. Um, I think we're gonna get big, I think we're gonna overgrowth, and I think we are going to Aqua Jet in the Colossal, we'll get that weakness policy off. They're gonna withdraw Entei, perfect. I'm more than alright with that. Um, I'm more than okay with Torrent coming out here too. I can vocal lift that. Um, we know there's two things weak to rock on here. Um, so long as Primarina stays healthy, that's great, because then I can even go for a Hyper Voice uh, next turn. Uh, have Primarina's Liquid Voice turn that off, or turn that into a Water type move get our throat spray in theory this should be good diggersby isn't protecting either so we're gonna get rid of diggersby so uh so far so good for testing a colossal um yeah the overgrowth is gonna be very nice here Pew. now if my opponent has zation in the back i definitely want to get rid of that thing too Focus Sash, okay. Okay. Well, I can Aqua Jet Diggersby. How much is this Earthquake going to do to Cole? 
not enough. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, the fact that I said grassy terrain definitely helps me in that in that sense, though, too. Um, I think we can aqua jet Diggersby. Or... Yeah, I still think we aqua jet Diggersby. I was going to say we could go for the, the hyper voice here. And then that way Cole doesn't have to take another um, attack if necessary. So Torn will get its tailwind, that's fine. Uh, Colossal's at plus six speed. Okay, I'll take a quick attack, that's fine. It's fine. We'll get rid of Diggersby here. I feel like Zacian's the last one. Uh, Zacian at plus two speed could be bad for Cole, but... We'll see. We got our Volcalyph. That's great. We'll get some chip damage into the opponent. Colossal will get some HP back as well. Definitely nothing wrong with that. Especially too, since uh, Heat Wave is going to melt Zation. And if I really want to, I could... Um, Okay, so here's Entei. I could uh, max guard and switch out Primarina or let Primarina go down. Um, hmm. Yeah, because Zacian's got that speed, which is the one concerning thing. But let's see. Double check something right quick. So... Our speed stat is 73. That's at plus 6, so we're looking at over 200. But I don't think that's enough to outspeed. Um, I don't think that's enough to outspeed um, Zacian under Tailwind. So I think getting Whimsicott in is probably my best bet going for a Tailwind. I could have Cole go for Heat Wave to try to get rid of Zacian. Now, if my opponent reads into me going for max guard, that's not great. But what I would like to do is I'd like to hit this Entei if possible. And who knows, maybe they might try to double up into Cole and I still get my hyper voice. That would be ideal. I get hyper voice. They're going to go Behemoth Blade. Nope, they're going to go Overgrowth into Pre-Marina. That's fine, though. Like I said, this lets me get Whimsicott in. So, I can tell one with Whimsicott and Heat Wave. And then that way, too. Um, Entei's going to take some chip. This is the, their second, first turn of Dynamax, my third. So, so long as I can survive um, with this and protect Doubts to all their Tailwind. It's kind of all I really need is to get rid of their Tailwind. Um, and plus, if I can hit Zacian, perfect. Because they got two turns of Tailwind. They also have two turns of my rocks left. So we'll Heat Wave. We'll Tailwind. And here's the best thing, too. If Zacian goes for Protect, they can't take out both of them. They do Protect, which is fine. Um, a Max Flare into Whimsicott would not be the end of the world. Uh, if they go Max Quake into Coal, that's fine. I'd still get a little bit of chip into Entei at the end of the day. It's not great, but it's still a little bit of chip. Rock Ball, okay. That'll break my Sash, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Because now what I could do is I could protect to stall out their last turn of max. Because I think this is also their last turn of Tailwind that I'm going into. Because then if I get the speed advantage, I can just have Zacian take out um, their Zacian. In theory. I could even have Zacian go after Entei, maybe. And 
nice thing is, is we still have grassy terrain. So we'll double check this right quick. I'm pretty sure this is their last turn of Tailwind. Um, yeah, it is. It's also the last turn of Rocks. Um, so we'll protect Zation. We'll protect Whimsicott. Because then what we could do is have Zation go for Entei, maybe. Because in theory, my Zation should be able to live something from theirs. I am bulk based on this Zation too, so that's the nice thing. Prison. Okay. Now, if they are Sacred Sword, that's a very big problem. But at least I have the Psychic Fangs to hit Ente with. <laughs> um, I can't use Behemoth Blade now. That's some cool tech on Zation too, actually having him prison there. Um, Let's see. So that's Protect Sealed. That's possibly Sacred Sword Sealed. Um, I have Psychic Fangs at least. We'll go Helping Hand and uh, Sacred Sword here. Try to get rid of their Zation. Yeah, we'll try to do that. So that's nice. Um, here's the small problem, though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, they went for Whimsicott. Um... Okay, so I was worried about uh, that hitting Zation, but hey, I'm more than okay with that. No Sacred Sword. And... What's well, still a Helping Hand. That's cool. Alright, so... Good thing to know, Zation gets imprisoned. That's something I wasn't aware it could get. Um, that could have been really dicey at the end with uh, a fire type and another Zation against Whimsicott and Zation, but hey, it worked out good. We got it. Okay, we have a Zekrom team with Hitmontop, Pinkerchin, which I feel like this is special Zekrom with Rising Voltage, or it's just their means of preventing sleep. Um, we have uh, Lilligant and Ninetales, Milotic, that's pretty interesting, uh, that combination. Um, Colossal looks pretty good here. Not gonna lie, I like the I like the option of going with Cole here. Um, I like the idea of getting Volcalif off. If there's Sun on the field, that's great because then I'm doing even less damage to myself. Um, I don't have Earth Power though, which could be bad for dealing with Zekrom. Uh, hmm. I think Indeedy might not be a bad call here. Uh, some speed would definitely be nice in my favor. Um, hmm. I think we'll bring Zekrom. And I think we'll bring Indeedy. I think we'll bring Indeedy this time instead of Whimsicott so that I can redirect attacks if I need to. Um, in theory, if I can get Hyper Voice off of Pre-Marina, that's awesome. But if I can't, I would much rather prefer to at least get rid of uh, Lilligant, because I don't want that putting Colossal to sleep. Uh, they're going to lead Zekrom and Milotic instead, so that's great. Um, Pre-Marina is in a very scary position here. I feel like Zekrom Dynamaxes. 
but I think I think if we can at least hit Milotic with an overgrowth, that's great. And Milotic could probably be uh, scary. It can be bulky. Uh, if we can get rid of that, all the better. Because what I'd love to do is I'd love to uh, hit Zekrom with um, a Volcalyph. I don't think... I mean, they might Max Quake me. I, think, I feel like this is a special Zekrom as well, so I could definitely see Max Quake. Uh, Zekrom does get Earth Power. Uh, it's been so long since I've gone up against Zekrom, though. I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, I could luck out, though, and they could just go uh, Max Lightning into Primarina. I feel like that's very optimistic, though. But hey, we got coal. Coal's good and big. The other thing, too, is I still have uh, Zacian in the back, which can do a lot of damage to Zekrom. And plus, we're going to get this off before they do anything, so... Uh, I don't have to worry about max quake boosts um, keep, uh, lowering Colossal's damage output. So we'll hit this Milotic uh, pretty hard. Now I should be able to live, in theory. Uh, Zekrom wouldn't like a Moonblast either, so if Colossal does go down, I can Moonblast with Pre Marina and follow me with Indeedy. Never mind. Uh, max Lightning. That's not bad at all. I can bring, I can bring Zacian in, and I have Zacian go for uh, Zekrom. I could also double into Zekrom with Cole, uh, their Life Orb, so I don't have to worry about weakness policy there. I have the speed in my advantage with both Zacian and Cole. Uh, hit on top is a little annoying. But it's okay. I can go for Psychic Fangs into Hitman on top, but I think they go Fake Out into me. Although, I could bring in Didi in and Volklift into Zekrom. Because here's the other thing at the end of the day, Zekrom does not necessarily get Colossal unless it's Pack and Earth Power. Or Earthquake. Yeah, it could be Pack and Earthquake. I think Zekrom gets Earthquake. But anyways, we'll see. I feel like Hitmon Top just went for a fake out, so it's like that should be a safe switch. And plus this way I can pull things away. We'll get our Volcalif off. We'll set our rock damage. That's a very good amount of damage into Zekrom, too. I'm very happy with that. Um, Max Lightning into Cole this time. All right. <laughs> we're uh, we're handling that for pretty good. Um, no fake out off of Hitmon Top, which means it's pro. Yeah, okay, so they're going to double into Cole. One HP. <laughs> One HP. Uh, go cool. <laughs> okay. So. Do they have any fire types? Uh, they do have nine tails. Uh, I'd rather not give them sun. If I can avoid it. Uh, we'll try to go expanding force into hip on top and get a little bit of damage here. And I think we're just safe to go for a Volcalyph into Zekrom. Oh, nope, they have Sucker Punch. Okay. That's fine, though. Colossal did more than enough uh, here. So, can we live this? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, there was a crit, that's why. That's cute. Uh, critical hits, they're nice. That said, Volcalyph should pick off Zekrom next turn. So depending on what my opponent has in their last slot, I think I'm good. 
I can protect Zation this turn. And we can get chip damage with uh, Vocalift that way. Because they do have the electric... Hmm. They do have the electric terrain. I don't know. No, I think I'm going to protect Zation here. I think that's the safe play here. They're not switching out Zephyrom, so the rock should get it. Yeah, Bolt Strike would have definitely hurt. And I'm pretty sure I can live whatever Hitmontop wants to do to Zation. So, in theory, I think whatever comes in to replace um, Zekrom here can get taken out by Zation. Now, if it's Nine Tails, that's... Oh, no, it's Pankerchen. Okay. So... I think... I think Pinkerton packs a massive punch. So... Let's see. Nine... Yeah. I think we'll go Sacred Sword into Pinkerton. We're still at plus one, which is great. Ooh, that's bulky. Uh oh. Okay, that's not good. That's really not good. Yep. Okay. Yep. Alright, I was expecting to get rid of Pinker Chin, but I didn't. That's not good. Anyways. As much as that sucks, good game to my opponent. Okay, we have a Calyrex Ice Team with Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Mimikyu, Reggie Alecki, um, Calyrex, and Metagross. So, this might not be the best matchup for Cole. They're already locked in, too. Um, Mimikyu is probably part of the lead with Incineroar there. Um, now, Primarina does get access to spread moves so does colossal um so does indeedy though but indeed he's got nothing on calyrex and uh, uh metagross there i think we bring zation and whimsicott might not be bad but hmm. maybe thunderous Yeah, maybe Thunderous. We'll try this combination. Um, oh, Thunderous could have been good in the lead, because I feel like it's Incineroar and Mimikyu lead. But maybe Thunder the idea of Thunderous will deter them from leading Incineroar. In theory. Always in theory, though. Now, Pre-Marina and Colossal are both slow outside of... Okay, it's Tapu Fini and... Um, Alecky. That's alright. So, on that happy note, what I could maybe do is Volkalif into Eleki and Aqua Jet. Get the rocks up now, because I feel like this would bring Reggie Eleki down. Um, and worst case scenario, if they Volt Switch. Um, they don't have a Trick Room set of right on the field. And I wouldn't mind getting Thunderous in. They're gonna max. Okay, they're gonna max Reggie Lucky. Well, goodbye Primarina. <laughs> yep, goodbye. Oh, no. Tapu Fini, okay. I'm still okay with that. I'm still okay with that. I keep forgetting uh, Colossal is going to be the slower animation because Steam Engine doesn't activate until after it's hit. So, that's fine. Um, I appreciate getting rocks into Tapu Fini, especially with Tapu Fini uh, not having a Calm Mind set up. 
And the nice thing is, is maybe I can still live this with the Dynamax. It's hard to say. I might be able to live it, I might not. The nice thing, though, is, is I can hit Regilecki. I'm getting these rocks up. And in theory, Finny's taking a bit of chip. Because I still feel like Calyrex is in the back. I don't even think I saw a Focus Sash on that Regilecki. I didn't. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, moment of truth. Can I live this? Nope. No, I could not. Um, that's okay, though. I got rid of Reggie Lucky. I get my rocks up. Pre-Marina now has uh, a good speed boost. Or not speed boost. Um, damage boost with rain. And plus, I have Zation. Because I can still Behemoth Blade into... Uh, Finny here. Uh, hmm, yeah. I can still uh, Behemoth Blade into Finny, because Mimikyu... It gets its disguise, and if I wanted to hit it with Zacian, um, it's gonna, Zacian's gonna go uh, first, so that's no good to me. But I can at least go Hyper Voice and get my... Um, my Throw It Spray off. And plus, that's still a little bit of chip into Finny uh, with Pre-Marina as well, so. Was that a crit? No, that was just raw damage. Okay. Uh, Zacian's got no chill. I'm more than okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, Will-O-Wisp. If Finny protected Zacian. Alright. I'm very happy about that. I was expecting Trick Room, but hey. Uh, that works out very good for me. I now get my throat spray. Mimikyu's also going to take some damage from the rocks. So... I think... I think I'm safe to go for Mimikyuization here. Yeah, I think I'm safe to go for Mimikyu. Uh, Calyrex still might go for Trick Room too. But I feel like Calyrex protects, so I think I'm going to go Hyper Voice, take advantage of the rain, and go for Mimikyu. And avo they can't will o me as well, but I am right about the, the protect there. So we'll get rid of Mimikyu for sure with Zacian. It sucks that I don't get to uh, test out the damage with Primarina here. But I'm more than okay with that. Uh, it's a fair trade. Um, Pre-Marina's Throat Spray is putting a lot of pressure on. Zacian's got Behemoth Blade. I still have Vocal Lift damage. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. And plus, we can go for... Hmm. Hyper Voice is base 90. Moonblast is 95. I'm at plus one special attack. But I have Rain in my favor, so we're going to do that. And we're going to Behemoth Blade. And yeah, okay. So, I didn't get to see it. I didn't get to see how much damage Pre-Marina was going to do. But Pre-Marina's got a pretty good special attack stat, so I can only imagine. Um, good game to my opponent, though, as well. Can't forget that. Good game to my opponent. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, test run of my Zacian and Colossal combination uh, with Pre-Marina. Uh, I didn't get to try with Thunder so much um, today, but it did actually make it onto the team roster for once, uh, which is great. Uh, that third match, um, I did bring it, but Colossal and Zacian just kind of cleaned up for me. Uh, a little too efficiently, but hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we went 2-1, which was pretty good, all things considered. That pink urchin definitely caught me off guard. I was not expecting it to be that bulky. Um, I should have gone for the hit on top. Should have gotten rid of Zation a lot sooner. Should have gotten rid of that electric terrain. Uh, but hey, learning curve. It's all about a learning curve. So anyways, I'm going to play around with this team some more. I think what I'm going to do is I think this, is, uh, this team is going to be uh, featured in the next video as well. I want to try to out Thunderous and try that mode out, so we'll see what happens there. 
Uh, I definitely like using Zation. I definitely uh, enjoyed using Colossal. Um, I've never used it before this video, and man, I am very impressed. I see why so many people use it. Um, yeah, that Volcalyph is just great, and plus Overgrove is nice, and Heatwave having access to Change the Sun is great. Um, I definitely like it. Um, that's all I can really say about that without gushing too much about this. Uh, <laughs> in theory, too, uh, we did get the throat spray to work, uh, but we never got to follow up with that, so I wouldn't mind trying that out as well with Pre Marina. So maybe an Ndidi Pre Marina combo might work. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching uh, this video. I will see you guys next time.